Hey everyone, how's it going? So, it's me, big surprise. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna start doing this series that's gonna be a pretty rare thing, uh, but it's gonna be kind of a, a vlog style video. And I'm really just gonna tell you what's going on with the channel, what's going on in my life, and you know, stuff like that to keep you up to date, stuff that may affect you. Uh, so I've got a list of things here. Good old sticky notes are fun. Uh, so, we'll start off with uh, the real life stuff. So, here's something you don't know. May 1st, getting married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so that, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> uh, so what that means is, is, well, there won't be many videos for the next few weeks. Uh, there's probably going to be nearly a week where there's nothing. We'll see exactly. I've got a few still scheduled for release, so we're okay for another week or so. Uh, but we're going on a holiday from the sec second to the fourth, just over to Niagara Falls. There, uh, if you happen to see me, that'd be weird. <laughs> Very unlikely, but kind of neat. Uh, so we're heading over to Niagara Falls, staying there for the weekend. Yeah, weekend. Yeah, it's the weekend. Okay, I had to check the calendar there, and. Yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty cool. And now let's see, next up, keep with the real life stuff here. And uh, well, if you guys don't know this, one thing YouTube allows you to do is make money off your videos now, ad revenue. So it's not much, it really doesn't turn into anything until you have crazy amounts of subscribers, which even I'm kind of borderline there. Uh, so what that's allowed me to do, it's allowed me to, to raise enough to not only with my full-time job working at Wendy's, yay, that's not where I want to be for the rest of my life, <laughs> uh, but I'm going back to school this September, which I'll, is only, I'm only be able to do, wow, well, if I can talk, because of you guys, because because of you guys watching my video, supporting me, that's awesome. Everybody who's ever watched a video, everybody who's ever subscribed, you're really helping me out. Uh, I've now able to afford a car because of you guys I can afford to pay insurance and gas and oh we've been visited by a cat getting comfy over there maintaining <laughs> uh, but because of you guys I can afford that car uh, and me and the wife Ooh, that's a that's a scary word wife and it, it's it's allowed me to go back to school because before I was going back to school here uh, in this city and the program I was in I ended up leaving it it just wasn't for me anymore so I'm going back to September however it's in the, the neighboring town slash city and it, really I wouldn't be able to do it without a car or else getting a place down there which wasn't practical because we have jobs down here and like a 10 minute walk away from our place and the school is pretty close it's a single bus ride uh, so that's um, that's something that's yeah. Thanks, guys. That uh, brings me to other things, though. YouTube doesn't make that much money for a channel my size, unless you have your hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers. It's it's not getting you through life. Um, maybe by the time you reach a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, that's a big number. Ten thousand is already a pretty huge number. That's coming up soon. We'll talk about that a little more in a minute, though. Uh, but the uh, until you reach those crazy amounts, it's really not enough to do stuff like pay rent. But anyway, that's the good news. Now for the bad news. Uh, so, this is the headset I've been using up until now. Good old Turtle Beach PX21. And it's, of course, sounded good. The sound quality on my end is amazing. It's um, actually bought the light. <laughs> a pair of Beats, uh, Beats by Dr. Dre earphones, the Studio Edition, a few months ago, and these, in comparison to those, very, very similar. So these things definitely sound good. However, this is my second pair in about two and a half years. Each time it's been the little control, if I can organize this, it's been a little, um, I have it taken apart, just trying to fix it, but no luck. On the cord, you have a. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do this thing. You have that little. <laughs> oh my God! Get organized. You have a little control. Everything's backwards in the camera. You have a little control box that allows you to adjust the volume and everything on the side of that, and mute the mic and all that. And the last time 
Uh, it was about 10 or 11 months after I got it. Uh, the thing died, so I sent it in for a warranty, and Turtle Beach was awesome there. They decided, okay, we're just going to send you a whole new one, brand new, not refurbished, brand new. So that's awesome. I had to ship it into them. I can't remember if they paid for shipping or if I did, but um, that worked. That was pretty cool. So definitely as far as customer support goes, great to them. As far as quality, microphone, you guys knew what the microphone sounded like. Uh, and sound quality on my end was great. Um, build quality, not that great, it seems, especially since it had the same, very similar problem with it twice now. Right now, the left earphone and the microphone in don't work, so that kind of sucks. Uh, so I took apart the little control thing in the cord. So that's it. And you can see there's some really tiny wires. And I, I thought, okay, well, Maybe there's a, a wire that's been disconnected or something, and maybe I can fix it and at least get it to work again for a few more weeks or months or something until I can uh, afford a new one. Uh, but that's not happening. I don't see any cut, any uh, any wires disconnected, so there must be something either broken that I can't see in there, or the board itself is fried. Uh, but so that's it for the Turtle Beach one. I went out the other day and. Uh, bought myself another headset. It's worth about the same amount. That Turtle Beach headset's 80 or 90 dollars. Uh, I went out and bought myself a Razer Kraken, Razer Kraken Pro, I think. It cost about the same amount. Uh, microphone quality, not quite sure yet. I've heard bad things about the microphone quality on these, honestly. Maybe I should have got the Logitech. Uh, so far, build quality, first off, it, they feel more well built than the Turtle Beach. But uh, other than that, they fold too, that's handy for transportation purposes. Uh, but other than that, they're not that great. The sound quality is terrible. If you took a toilet paper tube and hold, held it up to your ear and heard that echo, kind of like a, the echo a seashell would make if you found a big shell in the sea or something, or if you're in a water slide and someone's yelling at the bottom and you hear that echo, it's everything sounds like that. I've tried plugging into multiple sound devices. It's got like a... You could do one of two things, and that would be either use like the standard earphone thing, or uh, you can plug that into another adapter, which, where's the other end of that cord? Right here, where it's got the two prongs. It's like one for a mic, one for uh, the, the speakers. Both sound like that, and it, I don't know, I've found they're not that great. I'm probably gonna return them. Uh, just in comparison to Turtle Beach, nowhere near as good. Microphone quality, I can't really tell because everything sounds that, like that weird echo sound. Although, props to them, they have a mic that you can pull out and retract. That's cool. So, I, I don't know, I think if you're going to spend $90 on a headset, maybe go for the Turtle Beach. I'd go for the Turtle Beach over that again. Uh, so right now, what I'm looking at uh, is possibly getting a pair of Astros. However, I don't have $250, $300 to spend on that. Uh, I was thinking about starting a, uh, like a, something to raise money, I forget what it's called, uh, and seeing if you guys would help me out with that. I, d I don't know though. Um, I hate to ask for, for much, but honestly, if there's 500 of you watch that video of the 10,000 of you that are subscribed, and 500 of you, half of you donate $2, then there you go, that's more than enough. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the in the, in the comments below. That would be pretty amazing if we could do that. Um, but I think I'm going to return these razors. Otherwise, I'm probably going to try the Logitech if you guys don't like that idea. And see how that goes. And um, if they're crappy too, I'll probably go back to Turtle Beach. Which, the problem is, they'll probably only last another year. Because like I said, I think I said this, that's my second pair in two years. Two and a half years. And uh, this one's not under warranty because it was a replacement. So that's a bummer. Uh, the Astro ones I was looking at, they're, there's uh, the Astro A40s and the Astro A50s. The A40s are wired and they're $250. The A50s are wireless and they're $300. Uh, so I know the A50s sound good. Another YouTuber slash live streamer I watch a lot, uh, you might know him, Quickie Baby. 
plays a lot on the European World of Tanks server. I think that's yeah, yeah, that sounds right. And he's got the Astro A fifties. He's had them for I think eight months or so now. Yeah, I stocked them. No, I, I tried to figure out what headphones he had, and I found the video about his first video since he got them, and that was eight months ago, according to Twitch TV. And so. I don't know, I know they sound good. They're 7.1 surround sound. Both these two headsets here I have are stereo sound. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Now, next on the list. Um, I guess we'll get into the video schedule. So on the channel, recently, over the last few months, there's been times where I've had multiple videos a day, and there's been videos almost every day recently that's coming to an end now it's gonna be back to the every other day schedule because of the events that are going on in the next couple weeks and I don't know what my work schedule is gonna be like after this because before I had one day a week where uh, the wife <laughs> would work and I would have that night off so I could do all my recording for the next week that night um, and now that doesn't seem to be a thing uh, but she's finishing school she's gonna be going back to working full-time um, and that means my schedule might allow for a little more recording time, but we're going to have similar shifts, so it'll probably still only be once, maybe twice a week if I'm lucky. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but for the next two weeks, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've got a few videos scheduled, but I don't know when or if I'll be able to put out a few more. Um, let's see. So as far as different games on my channel coming out, I, I really, really want to get back into War Thunder. And you guys have requested that several times. And I, I really do. I want to get back into the Air Forces and the Ground Forces. I went and bought myself like a $25 tank pack to get access to the Ground Forces. I decided I want to try it out. And so far, I have a video that I just need to add commentary to, actually. And it's my first experiences, my first day playing. So it's like my first four battles in there. Uh, so it'll be post-commentary. Post? Post commentate, yeah, post commentated uh, stuff on there. It, it was a lot of fun though. It's you can't really compare it to World of Tanks. The only thing similar, the only thing the same between World of Tanks and War Thunder Ground Forces is that you're on a team of players driving tanks, trying to kill another team of players who are also driving tanks and related vehicles. And that's about where the similarities stop. The handling of tanks is completely different. How everything works is completely different. So that's pretty cool. I've been, I've been playing a lot of realistic... I started playing arcade the first battle, and that was the last arcade I played. Uh, I haven't played any simulator, but... Um, yeah, you'll see how that went in a video recently. Or soon-ish. We'll see. Once I get another headset going, I don't really want to use this for recording because I don't know what the mic's like, and I won't have a chance to before I return it anyway. Um, so, anyway, if you do get a Turtle Beach headset, by the way, just go for the extended warranty. Could make sense of warranty, uh, but no. That the pair I have is uh, 360 PS3 PC. Uh, it doesn't have your standard earphone jack. It was USB, and plus a few special plugs for uh, 360 and PS3. I don't know about PS4 and uh, Xbox One because the headset was released before those consoles were out. Of course, um, but I'm pretty sure you can still buy those on the website, and I've seen them in stores a few times, and you know it's it's good. Anyway. Uh, that's enough of the headsets. July events. Now, that's what my note says. In July, there's going to be a lot going on. In July, I'm going to actually have the place to myself here for about a week and a half. So that's when the 10,000 subscriber special stuff is going to happen. It's something like the 4th to the 14th or something. I don't know for sure. It's something like that that I have the place to myself. Uh, so somewhere in that time, I'm not sure on the exact day yet, there'll be the 10,000 subscriber live stream, which I decided will be a 10 hour thing. Uh, my only concern there is if I get the wireless Astros, they have a 10 hour battery life. So a 10 hour straight stream, I don't know if the battery will hold up for that. Uh, I might have to do like five hours, take an hour break for recharging and not only recharging the headset, but recharging my brain after uh, trying to keep commentary going for that long. Uh, but um, We'll, we'll figure something out. I'll, of course, be doing more recording that week, and uh, I'll probably do more live streams that week as well. I kind of want to get Portal and Portal 2 single player campaigns recorded. I've never played Portal 1. I have played the both Portal 2 single player and campaign, 
single player and multiplayer co-op on the PS3 before and I recently did a series here on the PC with a, a friend uh, up about the Portal 2 co-op and <laughs> I've done it twice before and that still didn't help me much uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes um, what else, what else I'll probably do several more live streams that week at that uh, I also want to do for the special 10,000 subscriber special like a behind the scenes thing so I'll show you guys what I use for recording which you can already find those details in the description pretty much every video I put out now uh, the newer ones but I'll show you guys how I record it, what I use to record, what settings I use very briefly kinda and I'll show you guys um, you know how I would do something like the split screen like the multiple perspective uh, World of Tanks videos, I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, I kinda wanna do some contests and giveaways that week too. We'll see how that fits into the budget. Right now it wouldn't be in the budget. Uh, maybe that's another thing I could raise money for. Uh, if you guys wanna donate a few dollars or something, well, you could let me know in the description or in the comments below of course what you think about this. Uh, but we could have a pool where if over the next month or so people donate fifty dollars total we could put that towards prizes uh, and I, I give away a few things like World of Tanks gold packages and that would be it would matter what server cluster you were on so if you're a European player, a Russian player, a North American player I think there's like an Asian server or something, I don't know it's the C server uh, then we do that, copy a BeamNG drive or something, if people were donating, if they wanted to donate and request that I put the money towards a certain game or gold package or something, then yeah, I'll do that, that that's that's cool. Um, basically anything on Steam I can gift, so, um, let's see here, so World of Tanks videos in the future, there's going to be a few more of those for sure, I've got uh, a bunch of replays here from 8.11 still that I want to get out, most of those are split screen, I'll probably end up scrapping a few of them just because I want to get to the 9.0 stuff, but I have a few cool 9.0 stuff, I had a game in the M4 Sherman the other day that was just amazing, <sighs> the enemy team was just feeding themselves to me and that went really well, that was the best game I had in, uh, in the M4 in a long time, um, let's see here phone's looking at me. I have an email, probably you guys. Maybe we can give a shout out. No, we can't. Uh, let's see, uh, so I talked about War Thunder, Ground Forces and Air Forces. I'm gonna have the Ground Forces video coming out soon. There'll probably be a few more than that. I don't know how common they'll be. The Air Forces thing, mm, I will I'll get back to it when I get back to it. I've been meaning to for months though, so we'll see how that goes. Minecraft. I've been having a mic, or I've been having an issue with Minecraft ever since I updated my graphics driver. And by the way, if you guys have AMD graphics, I've got a 7950 card. Don't update your drivers right now. Don't do it. It breaks a lot of things. It installs those new pieces of software, which it's okay, I guess. It's called like a. I think it's AMD Gaming Evolved. That's what it's called. And it, you actually make like these. AMD currency credits for just playing games and live streaming using their stuff and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. You can put that towards discounts on different pieces of hardware and uh, potentially buying games with it. However, I don't know. It's just another thing to run on your computer. I don't think to bog it down potentially. And uh, I don't know. I've been having all kinds of error messages pop up since then. Minecraft, when I launch it, it launches a launcher, but when I try to click play, it gives me some kind of error about the Java, Java Virtual Machine, which I've changed nothing about Java. I tried reinstalling Java, trying a different version of Java, but Minecraft will not launch. So we'll see how that goes for that series. I do have a video uploaded to YouTube that'll probably be out very, very soon, as in a couple days, uh, about another Minecraft Survival Games video. I've had it sitting on the channel for a couple weeks now, just waiting for a chance to release it. But I've had World of Tanks stuff uh, filling up the schedule. Um, Watch Dogs, that's a game coming out soon, that's going to be an open world game, kind of, we'll kind of compare it to Grand Theft Auto in a way, it's a lot different than Grand Theft Auto, but that's really the closest game I can think of, it's made by Ubisoft, which is the same people that created uh, Assassin's Creed, that's pretty cool, it looks like a pretty in-depth game, it's been pushed back when it's released date a few times, but I finally went and pre-ordered it a few weeks ago, 
which no, I wish I didn't because then I might have a little more money for a headset. Uh, but uh, it, it should be good. I'm going to be doing a series on that. I'm probably going to be releasing the first video, like depending on when I have the chance to record, sometime within a few days after the uh, after uh, the game is released, which it's released on the, on May 27th, which is my birthday, by the way. Uh, that'll be my 20... Crap, how old am I? That'll be my 21st birthday. Uh, which, to you Americans, isn't as relevant as the as it is in the US. Because here the legal drinking age is 19 and stuff like that. Uh, so 21 is kind of irrelevant. Um, let's see. Battlefield 4. I played a little bit of multiplayer the other day again for the first time in probably a couple months. I had a lot of fun with it, so I'll probably do some more Battlefield 4 camp multiplayer. I did a whole campaign video on my channel. If you didn't see that, you can check that out. There's a whole playlist for that. And um, I want to get to Anxiety again, the same person I played Portal 2 with, and get back to some more Battlefield 4 videos, because we had some fun with that. I was playing it the other day, though, and it, it made my computer run pretty hot. I forgot about how much it did that. That's the first time I played it since I got the liquid cooling system in my computer. Um, so, I don't know, and, heck. huh, okay, I thought that was a little button that fell off of this thing, but it's just a fluff, never mind, I'm going crazy, and uh, YouTube will do that to you, no, it won't, let's see, uh, I think that's about it, yeah, uh, so right now, let me check on this real quick, Check my sources. So right now we're getting pretty close to 10,000 subscribers. We're at 9.3 thousand, which is pretty cool. So 10,000, I'll, I'll explain everything uh, shortly after we reach 10,000. I'll probably do another vlog style video like this. And uh, once I have all the dates set up in July for when um, for when the live stream is going to be and stuff like that, then I'll let you know. Uh, I've, I'm going to have to figure out what day I'm, I have off that week and plan it accordingly so uh, we might not know that until a week before the actual stream starts but I'll post a video on YouTube like a week before the stream or so and uh, let you guys know there if I do any live streams I'll um, uh, I'll post it on Twitter as well uh, all the live stream footage will be uploaded to YouTube after all 10 hours of it I was humming and hawing about that before because it's a really long a lot of footage to upload but uh, I'll probably release like a two hour long archive video of the footage every couple of days or something so you guys can keep up. And if you guys want to go ahead and watch the whole thing in one day, after when it's not live, then you can go over to Twitch and watch the archive there. Um, I think that's it. Oh, uh, next card game, there's going to be another video for that because of this whole headset thing and events going on in life. It, the next video of next card game has been pushed back probably by a couple weeks. I was planning on releasing another one right about now, ish, uh, about the new racetrack, but that's not happening, fortunately. Um, stuff happens, you know, make the best of it. Uh, well, by the time we reach 10,000 subscribers, we're going to have 3 million total channel views, too. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I never thought that was going to happen. You know, I was on my ninth Minecraft video, I think, of my. Uh, which is like my 12th or so YouTube video. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to check that right now, but... And I noticed, because I was listening, I'm looking at making a channel trailer, and so I was looking at all the, the footage I had, and I was kind of looking through it, seeing what parts I could use as highlights and stuff, because it's going to have audio, like a song over top of the, the, the commentary, so you're not going to be able to hear my voice or anything. Um, just kind of show you guys what the channel's about, or new subscribers what the channel's about. And... Uh, Apparently, I got my first subscriber after my like my ninth single player Minecraft video. That's, that's sad. But anyway, now we're making many more subscribers than that. We're getting sometimes 50 subscribers a day. Uh, at about 5,000 subscribers on the channel, I decided, okay, that's enough. I'm going to tell YouTube not to email me every single time I get a new subscriber now because I was tired of on the busier days getting a hundred emails in a day. I still get an email every time you guys post a comment though. So uh, if you have a question for me or something, then uh, if you 
post a comment on a video, then I'll probably get that comment as an email, and like 95% of them actually go through. There's, it seems like I don't get the occasional one, which is weird, but um, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, BeamNG Drive, I should mention that too. Uh, I'm going to have a video for that eventually. <laughs> I don't want to say a date. I was thinking about doing some modded stuff, like showing off some mods, so user-made vehicles, uh, possibly even an aircraft, user-made maps, because some of them look pretty cool. But really, I've been holding out on releasing another BeamNG Drive video until the race update comes out, which I thought was going to be a couple months ago, but they've been working on it for a long time still. It looks like they're going to actually be able to set lap times on like tracks that you can see around some of the worlds. Uh, they're going to be adding new vehicles. I think the one's called the Pigeon, and it's it looks like a uh, reliable Robin as, as a pickup. So one wheel at the front, two at the back. So that thing could be crazy. They have a version of it too in the game, but it looks like it has like training wheels, stabilizers on it. So uh, you can't uh, you can't roll it as easy. And how's it going to be adding? I think they called it T seventy five or T fifty seven or something like that. It's a transport truck. They don't have a trailer for it, but looks of it. Hopefully they'll add one. If not, maybe I can find a user made one that will actually work. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to be everything. This video has turned out a lot longer than I expected it to. I thought it was going to be like a three minute thing and then I'd be done on my rambling and through all my notes, but um, no, I think that's it. Uh, a few ideas for BeamNG Drive once the next update, next big update comes out. That's going to be available on Stu Stu Steam very, very soon, if not already. Uh, they, uh, they did the Kickstarter Steam Greenlight, that's what it's called, thing. And they got accepted that very quickly because everybody really likes that game. That they already has it, and it's a pretty good-looking game. It has a lot of potential with those soft body physics, and that's why it's become one of the most successful games on my channel. Anyways, thanks you, thank you, thank you everybody for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this different video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.